Last Monday, we celebrated a pope who was known as Great, Saint Leo. And today, we are celebrating another saint who is called Great, Saint Albert the Great. He wasn't a pope, but he was considered the most learned man of his time, the 13th century. In fact, he was the teacher of someone whom many consider the greatest theologian of all time, St. Thomas Aquinas. Hello, this is Father Kubicki, and of all that I've said so far, I want to remind you that true greatness is not always something that is visible. It can be, but not necessarily. What do I mean? Well, what ultimately matters is not how the world or even the church perceives us, but how God sees us. Jesus said that the great ones in the eyes of the world are those with power who make their influence felt. He told his disciples that the greatest among them must be the servant of all. And then he literally showed them how by washing their feet at the Last Supper and dying for them and for all on the cross. That's true greatness, the greatness of every saint, the greatness of holiness and of love. As St. Paul wrote, if I speak in human and angelic tongues but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own and if I hand my body over so that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Faith. Hope and love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love.